a very good morning children hope you all are doing well children today we will go through what katy did what katy did is an extract that has been taken from the book what katy did itself written by susan coolidge susan wrote many books for children among which what katy did and what katy did next became immensely popular children this extract is about a young girl named katy she is recovering from an accident and when she learns that she'll be lying in bed for a long time she is very despondent despondent means sad she is without much hope so this extract emphasizes especially on the theme that if one keeps a negative and depressed attitude when some i mean when someone is ill or recovering from an injury it of course results in slow healing even medicines don't make quick effect but if one happens to keep a positive and cheerful attitude during one's illness or recovery from an injury it would surely result in quick healing so now let us see how she overcomes her depression that is the first step towards regaining her health so now as when she came to know that of course she she'll be on bed katy when she knew that of course there was no chance of her getting well soon she grew terrible about this fact she lost heart about herself she was taking no interest in anything being a motherless girl aunt easy look after her aunt easy made so many efforts to keep her busy to make her comfortable she brought her books but she didn't read them she didn't want to sew nothing nothing amused her nothing pleased her clover and sissy the two children whom kitty used to help for their education even they visited but even their visit made her cry she was really upset she was really depressed aunt easy asked clover and sissy not to come even they were feeling you know really sad really sorry for her condition and they didn't mind much because katy's room was really gloomy and she was not responding cheerfully therefore they didn't mind much not being allowed to see her katy made aunt easy keep the blinds shut tight and there was no sunlight in her room the gloomy room added more to her depression not only this whatsoever efforts were taken by aunt easy and the others she was not being grateful for the kindness and for the patience shown by the others towards her as she had become too self absorbed to notice how kind and patient others were with her she just wallowed in self pity 
she was unappreciative she felt no gratefulness for all the efforts that were put in by them now of course this worried everyone and finally katie's father sent for cousin helen cousin helen was not a healthy person as when she had made her visit she was brought up in katie's i mean katie's father brought her up in her in his arms and made her sit in a big chair that was beside katie's bed when katie entered the room sorry when cousin helen entered katie's room she noticed various things firstly she saw that katie was looking as a forlorn child forlorn that is sad depressed unhappy lonely her face had grown thin and her eyes had red circles under them because of continual crying Katie had run her hands through her brushed hair and it stood out above her head like a frowsy bush. She was wearing a calico dressing gown that had an ugly pattern. And the room in which Katie spent her time in bed was neat but it had a very gloomy appearance. It had a dismal look. with the chairs set up against the wall and a row of medicine bottles on the chimney piece when cousin helen arrived she after you know observing all these things she suggested katie she was trying to you know create her interest in the suggestions that she wanted to give it to her she asked katie that what all things she wanted to do and because of which you know because of her illness she was not able to accomplish them she presented her wish she said that she wanted to study she wanted to help people and become famous katie also wished to teach the children but she was upset about the fact that as she now has to you know lie in the bed for a longer time she won't be able to do all these things then katie when she was growing you know too depressed too sad too hopeless about the things around her about the thing about the things i mean they were cousin helen started to tell her something really interesting and she was telling as if you know it was a story it aroused katie's interest she said now katie car you wanted to go to school and learn and learn to be wise and useful and here's a chance for you so katie asked her what is the school the school that cousin helen was referring to was the school of pain the school of pain referred to a time of sorrow and suffering it was a time that katie had to you know to spend in bed as she was unwell cousin helen told her that her classroom was that room the rules of the school were hard but good students who followed the rules found them to be kind and right after a while and the lessons were not easy but of course they were really interesting 
then she asked about the lessons that what kind of lessons can she learn in this school of pain so the first lesson that she mentioned was that of the lesson of patience that was the hardest to learn why hardest to learn because when anyone is going through a hard time it is very tough to be patient for things to change one tends to become impatient bitter depressed sad and that is what happened to katie she was depressed about this thing about this fact that of course she has to stay you know that she was restricted to the bed then she says that that of course the next lesson is lesson of cheerfulness that of course she needs to change her attitude she needs to be more optimistic positive to she needs to keep an a positive approach towards each and everything that will help her to regain her health at a more faster pace and the third lesson that she enlisted was the lesson of making the best of things she should take advantage of this opportunity and utilize her time constructively the fourth uh, lesson that she has mentioned was the lesson of hopefulness and she says that sun is one of the teachers of the lesson of of hopefulness we have to learn from the sun how to be bright warm and cheerful every day the sun represents hope it reminds us that no matter how dark things seem there will always be light after darkness and this is what cousin helen wants katie to understand after the lesson of hopefulness she mentions about the lesson of neatness that demanded school rooms to be kept in order kitty might be sick she may be sick but she should be fresh and dainty as a rose dainty that is of delicate beauty this would be different from how forlorn she looked presently with her ruffled hair her thin face <coughs> and her red eyes the next advice that she mentioned was or she gave it you know to kati was that it was important for her to study by herself as then she would not slip quiet you know back in her education she would be <coughs> able to keep up with most of what was being taught at school the next thing that she suggested to katie cousin helen suggested to katie was that she could be of use to the children in many ways like she could make her room a delightful place where the children would you know they would feel welcomed by her then they would share their happiness sorrow and feelings with her she could do anything she wanted to with them as she had a lot of time on her hands now so she could use this splendid chance because she was always on hand she was always available to people as her illness had restricted her to one room so she could make sure that she gave everybody a loving reception whether they were happy sad or grieving she could make everybody feel welcome in her room lastly she says that a person whose life is laid aside as katie's was due to her being unwell can help others by living their lives with them 
He or she can listen to their happiness, sorrow or troubles patiently, can offer them valuable advice, teach them something new to tackle their problems. He or she can offer them a place where they feel safe, secure and welcome at all times. And of course, Katie mentioned at the end that she was not being, you know, wrong in stating all these things and that her purpose was not to give her any lecture or any boring advice. Instead, she wished to motivate Katie. She was telling her how she could be happy and help others even though she was unwell. Last but not the least, the sermon influenced Katie as cousin Helen gave a practical advice to Katie on how she could feel better about her condition and utilize this opportunity to help others. Cousin Helen was also living in same condition but she never complained about her life and this is what made herself strong and learned to appreciate the little things in her life. Therefore, we can say that Katie uh, might have transformed her after listening to Cousin Helen's piece of advice. And at the end, when she says, No, I'm not a bit, said Katie, holding Cousin Helen's hand tight in hers. You can't think how much better I feel. Oh, Cousin Helen, I will try. This, of course, conveys that Katie is influenced from cousins, from Cousin Helen's practical advice. And of course, she was feeling better after listening to her. And of, and of course, she would practice it. Whatsoever she has advised or suggested her, Katie would of course do the same way. This is how attitude matters. Approach towards things matters. If you will, you know, if you'll be a pessimist, if you will have a negative approach towards life will be you know always you think about a problem as a problem of course you won't be able to solve that problem ever in your life but if you will have a positive approach and you'll be hopeful about the things rather than spending or wasting time thinking that you know uh, the problem has come and I won't be able to, you know, solve it. Rather, use the time to think how you can solve the problem. Think for the solution. Because half of the time is wasted in thinking that, of course, this is a problem. And that is what even Katie was doing. But by Cousin Helen's practical advice or suggestion, of course, Katie showed the eagerness that she would change her attitude and we can predict that of course she might have regained her health by making the best of the time. So with this, I conclude today's session here and I hope that you will go through the explanation again, read the story revise all the best thank you bye bye